Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tech Supra channel. Today in this video, I am going to show how to use object function in Oracle Visual Builder and object function is part of business object. So the intent of the business object function is to write Groovy script to create custom REST APIs for some calculations. So as part of this video, I'm going to show a use case, very important use case where I will show you how to count the number of users based on some parameter that we can pass to this function. So guys, before I get into the into this video, I will request everyone to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. Now let's get started and see how we can create object functions in Oracle Visual Builder. Let's suppose we have one business object called employee. In that employee business object, we have various fields called age, approved, first name, full name, ID, and other fields. Now the requirement is I would like to get the number of employees whose age is greater than to the past age. For example, let's say I create a function where I pass an argument called age and in that age I pass the value let's say 40. I would like to get the count of an employees of employees whose age greater than 40. So let's see how this can be done in Visual Builder very easily. So to meet this requirement, you can create a, a object function from that business rules. Go to the business rules and click on that object functions. So to create the object function, you should have a little idea of Groovy script. If you don't have, you can go to the Oracle Visual Builder uh, documentation where you will find out the Groovy script. That's fine. So now click on a new object function. Let's say count employee. And let's say create object function. So when you create a function, here you will see a here you will see a center, uh, center, a uh, center where you need to write the Groovy script. We have the parameter section. We have our object function which we have created. We have different different functions that can be used. Click on our parameters, and here you can see the function written type. What type of data that function can return. So as of now, it supports all those. It does not support map. It's there, but it does not support as of now. Let's say I would like to return long. If you would like to pass any parameter to this function, you can click on the parameters and add the parameters. Let's say add parameter and let's say age. All right. And then if you would like to call that function from outside of the visual builder, you can use this call label by external system as a checkbox. All right, so this parameter is visible here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a custom script here. Just allow me a minute. I already have one custom script and let me put it there. So let me fetch that out and then we'll put it here. All right, so here is my custom Groovy script where I'm using a new view and getting my employee or business object adding a view criteria here where age is the field inside that business object and age is the parameter name that I will pass. Executing that query and creating a variable called total users and assigned with a value zero, looping over that result. And if that results are there, I am just incrementing this variable. And at the end of this loop, I will return this total user as a long. So this will return me the total number of user where age is greater than the past value. Fine. Now, if you click on the object function here, you see your count employee function is ready and it is active. Now, when you click on the endpoints, it will generate one endpoint automatically based on that object function that we have created with the same name as my object function. And it is a post type. So click here. When you do this, you can test the function from here directly. You have to go to the test. And here is the one thing. So when you are calling this function, make sure you will pass one valid primary ID here. That can ID can be anything. You can fix this value here. So you go to the data and you can see all the values that I have. And here's the ID column. So make sure you pass at least one ID here. 
which is the valid ID, which is the requirement to call this function, let's say one. And go to the body section. Since this is the post API, you will have to pass the JSON body here. And the parameter name, which was age and its value, let's say 25. And it will return me the number of employees whose age is greater than 25. You see, we received two results and let's say 50. Send request one. So this is how you can create custom functions very easily with the help of that business rules object function. You can create custom more complex function if you want. So guys, I hope you find this session, this video useful. If yes, please like, comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thank you. Bye-bye.